Let's factor out the greatest common factor in these three terms. First, let's decide on the greatest common factor. I have 7x to the 6, 6x to the 4th, and x cubed, 7, 6, or negative 6. And 1, the greatest common factor there is 1 or negative 1, so nothing to factor out. Let's look at our variables raised to powers. I have x to the 6, x to the 4th, and x cubed. The greatest common factor is that variable raised to the smallest exponent, so the greatest common factor is x cubed. So let's rewrite each term so that one factor is x cubed. In other words, 7x to the 6 is x cubed times 7x cubed. Remember, you add exponents here minus x cubed times what factor will give me 6x to the 4th? That would be times 6x. Once again, remember you add exponents, so that would give you that x to the 4th. Plus, I'll simply write x cubed times 1. That will give me x cubed. Now you can check by multiplying each time, but I haven't changed the meaning of this trinomial. Now though, in each of these three terms, we can see the x cubed that we'll factor out. If I factor it out from this term, I'll have 7x cubed minus, if I factor it from this term, I'll have 6x plus, very, very important, when you factor it from this term, you still have plus 1. Again, check by multiplying and also seeing that these three terms have no greatest common factor other than 1 or negative 1 now. We have correctly factored out the greatest common factor.